Hi friends, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can transform this template into something that looks like this. Um, I will show you how you can change the fonts, the styling, the colors and how you can add patterns and stickers. So this template here is available on the starter template page. You can access this page from the hub page when you click here on Planify Pro starter templates. And then here we have uh, 100 different kinds of templates available and you can use them all for to customize them or use them as is and then also use them commercially as well if you're on a business plan. So to follow this tutorial open the starter template page and then scroll all the way down until you see the weekly templates right here and it's this template here which looks like this. So click on it and then open it up in the gray page and this template will be in the A5 size and I recommend you to keep it on the A5 size and once you are finished with the tutorial you can further resize it into other sizes and then export it. So to keep this uh, tutorial simple I will just add or duplicate this page and then I will be switching from this page uh, to the end product here. So this will be easier for me to work. So once you've opened the template, uh, you should have something that looks like this. It's a weekly planner with daily boxes on top and then um, a to-do list in the middle. There is a habit tracker, a meal planner and then a notes list below. So first things first, let's check out the styling. Open the style panel and then go to neutral and then select the jovial style. And this will create you a styling with rounded corners like you see here. The next thing we'll have to do is change the colors. So to do that open the color palette and then go to custom color. Select the second image here. This image right here click on it and then select the first color and this will change it to this um, beige brown color palette. So once you've applied the color, let's also change the line color to gray. So up here where it says line, here you can further customize the line color and let's change it back to the gray color. The color code or the gray color I used here is hashtag C0C0C0. So you can type this in on your end and then you should have the same gray color as I have here. Next, let's go to the fonts, go to text and then open the H1 font. The H1 font is this font you see up here, this text here. Then to change this font, have H1 open, go to title font A and next you want to apply the font called Barkley and it's right here. Then you can make the font a tiny bit bigger, set it to around 30 like this or you can make it a bit bigger if you want. And then for the H2 font, um, go to regular and then search for the font called New Work. Um, this one right here. It's this font right here. Then same for the H3 font. So the H3 font is every text, every font that is within the widget. For example, these texts here. These are the H3 font because um, these labels have been added by clicking in the widgets and typing within the widget. So this one's the H3 font. So text H3 regular and then select the same New York font like this. And there we go. So now we have the color applied, the styling and the font. And next let's apply the pattern. To do that go to the pattern menu and then you want to open up the third tab and then it's the flakes pattern. So down here below you have different kinds of flakes and also select full so it covers the entire template and then select the first flake uh, pattern you see which looks like this. And once applied, it should look like this on your end. And we are almost done. Um, next step would be to decorate the template. So go to sticker mode and then search for work. And here are all the stickers I've used to decorate this template. So you can add random kinds of stickers. 
um, I added a book sticker to the left page then made it smaller and you can follow this step and also add a sticker where I am placing it or you can add your own stickers or decorate it the way you would like to and then I also added a plant to get some green elements um, into the template here and then I also added this pen made it a bit smaller and I added this pen right here and then for the right page um, I've added the, a plant, a leaf this leaf here to the right side like this and then I've added books um, to the Sunday box these books here made it smaller and then add it to the sides like this and last I added this sticker here um, to the Thursday box so this is all I did you can also decorate it like I just did here or you can add your own stickers or place them anywhere else and then very last step is I've also changed the icons of the to-do lists so for the first one I've added hearts in the list so go back to planner to edit the widget click on the widget then scroll down until you see the to-do icon section here and then I've added hearts for the first one and for the second one I've added stars this one and then for the right to-do list I've added moons like this and there you go so this is what it should look like on your end and um, to compare again this is where we started and this is how it looks now so this was how to quickly change the appearance of the template and transform it into something new and you see that by just changing the colors and the patterns and the fonts you were able to completely change it from something that looks that looked very neutral to something more fun and if you have any questions feel free to always message me on instagram or facebook and i will try to respond to your questions as quickly as i can bye